is Melissa Alexander, and I am so pleased to be representing the Newburn Grand Marina Yacht Club um, here in historic Newburn, North Carolina. Um, those of you who have attended these Lunch and Learn sessions before know that I like to talk about New Bern and all of the splendid things that happen here in our community. So by way of the location of the marina, we are literally one block away from the historic district. The marina was built in 1986 and due to um, the gracious hard hand of Florence, um, the marina has now um, a brand new 712 foot wave attenuator dock that we refer to as G dock. Um, and so um, as we weathered Florence, um, we came back with a fervor. We are fully open um, and have been for, uh, gracious, just uh, shortly thereafter, Florence, um, the wave attenuation unit that we have really did a great job of protecting the marina. And um, so when the, the new one was constructed, um, we have just been steady ever since. Um, at the Newburn Grand, we actually have um, a number of different types of guests that that we cater to. So we have um, transient slips that we rent. We have liveaboards. We um, also enjoy uh, long-term and short-term lease situations, and we are selling boat slips. As a matter of fact, we are now over a hundred um, boat slips sold at the marina, and that is steadily climbing. But with some of that, I would like to talk to you about some of the beautiful features that we offer at the marina. Um, we are a protected intercoastal waterfront with deep water dockage. And as I mentioned, historic Newburn. For those of you that don't know about Newburn, Newburn it was formed in 1710. It is the capital city, the original capital city of um, North Carolina. And so um, the Triumph Palace is here, which was the governor's mansion. We are the birthplace of Pepsi Cola. And um, we um, are at the crest of the Trent and Noose rivers, 21 nautical miles up the ICW um, to get here. Most boaters, when they come here, literally fall in love with the marina and um, have intentions of staying for maybe a weekend, but they usually end up extending their stay because we are literally next to all of the restaurants, the pubs, um, they have outdoor live music now, it's every weekend and everybody is rotating between those things. Very respectful due to the situation with COVID and safe distancing. Um, the weather has been remarkable here. And so um, it really feels like we are in this heavenly state of um, enjoying this warmer weather with um, all the beautiful things that we have to offer here. Being a historic site, um, we offer trolley tours and well, I should say the community offers trolley tours, community tours, ghost tours. Um, we have a historic homes tour um, in the spring and the fall. And so um, everything is within close proximity. We have a grocery store, a fresh um, uh, farmer's market, seafood market, um, literally all within a one to two block um, distance from from the marina. So as you can imagine, those things make it a uh, boater's paradise. Uh, some of the things that we also have here, just a little bit of more of the details and features about the marina. Um, we have uh, approximately 234 boat slips. Um, it says 223 in our boat um, or on our website, but um, we do have day dockage that we offer um, the local community. And then we have um, also non-electrical slips that are close to the seawall. So by the time you add all that up, it's about 244, um, but um, we hold back some of those, those slips. Right now we are taking transients um, on the exterior side of GDOC. And so our transient um, reservations, if you are planning to visit the marina, please call in advance. We have, um, for some of the slip sizes, we have 
probably a one to two month wait. So plan ahead and call the office, um, speak to Jeremy or one of our team members there, and they will be able to help you. But um, with those boat slips, we can accommodate anything from, um, well, the, the slips start at 30, but you can bring a smaller boat if you have that, a 30 all the way up to an unlimited size on the exterior side of um, GDOC. As I had mentioned earlier, that's about 712 feet long. So we can really accommodate vessels of any size. Um, we have 30, 50, and 100 amp power available, high speed Wi Fi, and 150 different cable um, stations. We have a marina cam at each dock. So even if you're not at your boat, all you have to do is log on to our website and you can look at the particular um, marina cam that covers the dock that you're located on. For those individuals that are cruisers and choose to call a marina home port, say they're doing the loop, wink, wink. Um, they can um, purchase a slip here and cruise wherever they want. We rent out their slip for them. Um, we charge a 15% um, management fee to manage that while they're gone and to do the invoicing and all they do is collect a check and they cruise. It's a really good program. All of our slip owners really, really enjoy that. Um, and then we also have floating docks for ease of docking and boarding. We have a holding tank pump out and in-slip pump out service. The in-slip pump out service is provided free for um, owners at the marina. And um, there is a fee for that for those that are guests of the marina. You can actually pay if you'd prefer to have someone come to your boat and pump out um, pump out uh, your your boat at that at that point in time. And then we also have um, newly remodeled air conditioned rest, restrooms and showers and laundry and a mailroom facility. So we can accept mail um, packages, large packages. <laughs> we usually get quite a few of those as a matter of fact. Um, and um, let's go over our rates now. So our transient rates are daily. We have it's uh, $2 per foot per day. Um, a, a, so our, our rates decrease the longer you stay. Um, and so a one week rate would be $5 per foot per week, two week rate, $4 per foot per, per week, three week, $3.50 per foot per week, and four weeks, um, $3 per foot per, per week, excuse me. Um, but here's, here's the, the best thing about this is our boat US rates um, are honored for AGLCA members. So please, when you call in to make your reservation, um, mention that you belong to the AGLCA and that you are a member and we will honor our discounted rates and the discounted rates are um, a daily rate of 175 per day. Uh, the first week rate would be 450, the second 350, third three dollars and fourth would be 250 per foot per, per week. Um, our pedestal rates for 30 amp are $5 a day, for 50 amp, $7 a day. And your pedestal actually includes water, electric, cable, and uh, your Wi Fi. Um, long term rates, which is really affordable for um, the East Coast. So we are definitely one of the preferred marinas based on our rates and um, everything that you benefit from by being so close to the historic district. So those are $7.50 per month for non-powered um, and $8.50 per month for powered slips. And then um, um, we have long-term pedestal rates of $19.95 per month. Um, and then if I were to speak to you a little bit about um, our boat slip sales program, some of the things that I could uh, mention in our ownership program is that um, it's exclusive use of the owner's um, private boat slip. And so um, with that, if you do decide to make us your home port, you are allowed to, um, again, use those mail services. We make it as, as easy as possible. And um, the rental management program that I talked about, you we can rent your slip out for you. Um, and that helps us accommodate more boaters. And quite honestly, that has worked quite well for us as we've sold um, a number of slips. And so a lot of the owners are cruisers and they enjoy being out wherever they choose to be. And then we take care of that for them. Um, but 
One of the things that um, we offer our owners our valet baggage service from the street to your slip. Um, we also have, and this is actually includes all of the marina, we have yacht club activities and events. Those have been tabled due to COVID. Um, but this year on the calendar, we have planned to add our Thanksgiving luncheon, which the marina provides um, a turkey, um, traditional turkey um, dinner, and um, it's provided, it's catered, and everybody um, enjoys that um, quite well. It's been something that we've been doing now for almost three years. And then we do the same thing where we cater in a um, a holiday meal for Christmas and we have door prizes and giveaways and um, we have a lot of the boaters here that arrange for um, a number of different events. They coordinate those to tours of the Hatteras um, Hatteras yachts. They are um, local to New Bern and so that's always been a popular event. And um, then there is a road rally that a lot of the voters tend to do. And we have a couple of our faithful um, long-term guests that whenever they're here at the marina, they coordinate a couple of those things and they really enjoy it and have a high response. Um, we also have reciprocity with other yacht clubs through um, Yacht Clubs of America. So ownerships get a free membership to Yacht Clubs of America. And then we have merchant uh, discounts with the local New Bern Merchants Association um, where they offer discounts. Um, those are the types of things that have pretty much made our marina stand out um, in the Eastern North Carolina um, coast area. It has been um, a huge success for us to be members of the AGLCA and to be a lieutenant level sponsor. Um, we see a number of, of loopers in the area and um, we just really enjoy the uh, relationships that our team has been able to forge over the years with everybody. And um, we are again, happy to participate in something like this. And I always will thank Kim, and um, Joanne and all of the team there at the AGLCA for the work that they do to make these events possible. They are wonderful for smaller marinas like ours to get the word out and to um, encourage boaters to be able to visit us. So with that, I say thank you and I look forward to talking to you um, virtually when we are live. Thank you. All right, we are here live. Thank you for that presentation, Melissa, and thank you for thanking us, but uh, really the pleasure is ours, and we thank you for your sponsorship and your support of AGLCA over the years. Um, if you want to bring on your camera to take some questions, you are certainly welcome to. Um, let's see, we've got a few questions in the chat. Um, Okay, those are mostly due to our technical issue in the beginning. Um, Bridget is just asking us to repeat the name of the marina. So Melissa, you wanna give that again, please? Yes, that's the New Bern Grand Marina Yacht Club in New Bern, North Carolina. And um, I cannot turn on my video. It's, it's uh, saying that you have to do that. Um, I don't know why that is, but I am gonna make you a co-host and that should give you all of the per permissions that you would need. So hopefully it's gonna let you do that now. There we go, good to see you. Hi guys. So yes, again, the Newburn Grand Marina Yacht Club in Newburn, North Carolina on the beautiful News River. Um, great location, everything Melissa said about the, the, the facility itself is of course true, but the surrounding area is really just delightful, a very quaint, charming town. Um, we really enjoyed our time there for our rendezvous a few years ago. Um, we have a question from Robert. Can you discuss a little bit about this uh, slip pricing for sale? So for owners, for people who are interested in owning a slip there. Yes. Um, so on average, the slip pricing, it varies based on the size of the slip and the location of the slip. But our slips are selling for approximately $1,200 per foot, those that are left. So it's still very reasonable. Um, as I indicated, there are a number of different things that you get with that free inslet pump out service, um, a membership to Yachting Clubs of America, um, and then the Merchants Discount Program. Um, and um, 
right now we um, we're in the midst of we just on CDOC started installing boat lifts that doesn't particularly ap apply to um, the cruising population. Um, but we do have a number of people that buy multiple slips here. And so they'll come here with their cruising vessel and then they have something that um, they just want to keep in the marina for quick you know, bouts out on the uh, out on the river and, and from the river, you can get access out to um, the ocean if you choose to make a, a real a real long day of it. Um, I think we're about 45 minutes from the sound to get out that way. So it's not um, something that our boaters don't venture out to do. <laughs> OK, um, next question from Robert. Are the transient slips on floating docks? Yes, the whole marina is a floating structure. OK. Um, and the next one from Daryl, what is the closest regional airport that accommodates commercial carriers? Hmm. So we have a regional airport um, and the Newbern Regional Airport is um, about five minutes away from the marina and um, it connects with an international airport. The, inter the closest international airport is Charlotte. Um, and so that's about a 45 minute flight from Newbern if you're on a, on a bigger, bigger plane. And what um, are there commercial, you know, airlines that fly into New Bern from Charlotte? Would that Delta be? and American. Okay, so you can take Delta or American right into New Bern. Yes, absolutely. As a matter of fact, I fly in and out of New Bern all the time. Um, they have like Raleigh is about an hour and 45 minutes. Charlotte is about four hours, four and a half hours away. But it just is very reasonable. Um, it's, a, it's a nice little airport, easy in, easy out. I think parking is $7 a day. It's super affordable to, to go fly in and out of that airport. Yeah, those are the, those are the nice airports. <laughs> I miss the days when Charleston Airport was tiny like that. Um, and you can get in and out quickly. Um, David is wondering the, the availability and pricing for slips wide enough for cats is a, a 23 foot beam. I'm not sure if he's asking about slip ownership or transient rates. So maybe David, if you can add that, but Melissa, in the meantime, you can maybe tell us about the availability um, of slips for cats. So the, um, we do have many cats in the marina right now. I'm gonna probably venture out without not talking to Jeremy, our dock master, and probably say that we have probably five to seven cats in the marina. Um, our transient uh, availability, which is really easy for cats, is the exterior side of our G-Dock. Um, so that's just easy for them. It's a side tie, they can come right in. Um, it's one of the preferred spots when we get cats in the marina. The rates, um, let me just go over those again. I have to actually pull it up on the website to go over that. So yeah, and he was asking about transient. Um, so that helps a little bit. Um, but yeah, if you can go over those rates, are they the same for cats as they would be for other boats, even though they're a little wider? They are, yeah. Um, so there's no surcharge for, for that. Um, so if you ever go to, if you go to www.newburngrandmarinayachtclub.com, and I'll say that slower, newburngrandmarinayachtclub.com. I say that really fast, so my apologies. Um, the U.S. or the boat U.S. rates that are on our website, we honor those discounted rates for AGLCA members. And so the daily rate is 175 per foot per day. And then the price drops the longer you stay. So if you stay for a full week, it's 450. The second week, it's 350. The third week, it's three. And the fourth week, it's two, 250. And um, there's, uh, you know, transient pedestal fees are for 30 amp service. It's $5 a day, 50 amp service, $7 a day. And then on our website, we do have long-term rates if you choose to stay and extend. Um, I did confirm with Jeremy this morning before um, I took this call that we, um, the month of April, we had a high number of transients. And so in our experience, people are really starting to get out and move around. Um, people had kind of, you know, hunkered down with COVID, but um, our transient activity is really picking up. And so whenever spring hits, you know, we have those folks that head north, they've kind of come down here to get away from the cold. Um, so then they head back up and April seems to be the biggest month that we have transients. We do have, um, we do have availability in the marina um, right now. So if you're planning a stay anytime, like in the next month, I would encourage you to call Jeremy as soon as you can. And he will certainly do that. At the time that I, I made the video, our um, wait list had 
was was kind of long. And then with the with the movement of those folks that head up north, we have more availability right now. So how far in advance would you suggest that people make reservations with New Bern? So um, it, some slip sizes are really hard. So our really large slips and our really small slips, um, those tend to be taken. And um, the sooner you can call the better, and I'm gonna say at least a month, maybe even two, depending on the size. And that's even just for, for you know, uh, a week or a few days transient? Yeah. and. Um, it, so I, I, I would, if you, if you think you're going to be in the area, it'd be best to, to call him and get on the wait list. But um, those in-between sizes, the, you know, the 50s, 40s, 35s, 45s, all of that, um, those are the sizes that we seem to get availability in. And so um, on average, we are, I'm going to say every week, approximately probably five to six transients that we're consistently taking in, that there's just that kind of movement. Okay, well, and thankfully the, the sizes you mentioned are um, pretty typical looper size boats that you tend to have more availability for, so that's good. Yes. Um, do you have uh, repair services on site? We do not, um, but literally uh, probably about a five minute um, boat ride is Bridgeton Boat Works, which is, um, if anybody's been to this area, there's the galley marina, which is literally two minutes. That's where the, the fuel source is here in New Bern for all the boaters. Um, you go to the galley marina, and you just head straight, straight over the river and it's on the Bridgeton side of the river here, the Noose River. <clears throat> okay, can you tell us about the winter weather norms? Do people live aboard year round in New Bern? They do. Um, so yeah, we probably have about 40 live aboards at the marina. And um, we do get some colder temperatures come January, February, it's two months, and we'll have, um, you know, weather in the 30s, but that won't typically last long. So maybe we'll get a cold streak that will last one, maybe two weeks, and then we'll get these what we call boating burst days, and then this warm <laughs> swoop of, of, of um, nice weather will come in and it will probably be in like the 60s or 70s and that will hang around for a week or two and then we'll get a little cold streak so it's it gets cold but it doesn't stay and it's just long enough to make it tolerable <laughs> so if for those of you that don't like the cold weather I'm not one of those people that um, can tolerate cold weather I grew up in Michigan and I don't particularly care for it any longer. I <laughs> prefer it doesn't ever come to New Bern, but it does. Um, and, but it, it doesn't stay long. Okay. Um, if the marina is full when a transient happens to get there, is there an anchorage nearby? And do you have a dinghy dock where they may be able to tie up to visit the town? So yes, we do have day dockage. Um, all you have to do is call ahead channel 16, let Jeremy and the team know that you're you're coming in and mortgage is actually permitted. Um, it is, so when you get here, you probably see where some of the boats do, do more. Um, Kim and I had a conversation not too long ago that there was an issue with somebody who moored right, right off of Lawson's Landing and they were blocking the primary traffic area for all of the boats. And so a local, I'm going to say ordinance, um, was put in place that um, gives the city the ability to tell the boater that they have to move if they are impeding that type of traffic. Um, so... Um, but there is, and we have, if you come across the bridge, um, crossing the Trent River where the Noose and Trent meet, you'll see where a number of boaters do opt to moor. Okay, we have a question about um, security. Are there security gates uh, between, you know, the DACA and downtown? Do you need codes to access the marina from the street? Yes, so all of the gates have a secured gate with an access code that's provided upon check-in. And um, furthermore, we have a 24 seven Marina live cam. So um, even if you're not at your boat, all you have to do is look on your phone and you can go to our website. Um, it's one of the pages on our website. As a matter of fact, it's the most popular page on our website. So when I look at the web analytics, that's always the one that is off the hook. So um, yeah, people do access that. It's a nice feature that we offer. Okay. 
I am not seeing any other questions for you at this point, Melissa. So I wanna once again, thank you for joining us and providing all of those details. And thank you for your support and for Newburn Grand Marina Yacht Club's support of Looper's end of AGLCA. We really appreciate your sponsorship. Thank you, everybody.